From wildfire warnings to watering restrictions, we've heard a lot of warnings about the exceptional and extreme drought in Utah. And every few minutes, dozens of monitoring stations measure streams and rivers to tell us what conditions are right now. Fox 13's Max Roth shows us. Utah's waterways are drier than they've been in the last two decades for this time of year, in which they should be flowing at their peak. That's what I realized looking at the data the U.S. Geological Survey puts out all day every day. The red dots on this map of Utah show water is low. We'll zoom in on three significant places, starting with the Green River at the town of Green River. The blue dots on this chart show how much water was flowing through at this time in May for each of the last 20 years. The high point, 2005, roaring 26,500 cubic feet per second. The low point, Right now, less than a fifth of that peak, under 5,000 CFS, the black line shows the drying trend. Not good, but the Green River has the best trend line of the three we'll see. Now north to the Provo River at the town of Woodland in Summit County, flowing from the Uintas and providing water to the Wasatch Front. The high point at this time of year in this century, 2003, with 1,900 cubic feet per second. The lowest point? Today, just below 400, and the trend turned downward early on. And now south to the Virgin River, the lifeline of southwest Utah. In Hurricane, the Virgin River peaked this century in 2005. 1,830 cubic feet of water flowing through each second. The low point? Yes, today, 47 CFS. Now to one more chart from the feds. Stick with me. This shows every day for 20 years on the Virgin River. All of those spikes are at this time of year, except this year. That black dotted line is the median amount, so you can compare through the years. And it's a little spooky to see those dots rise so far above the actual water amount for this year. So let's look closer, and you see that dotted line starting in the fall, the lines diverged in a way they simply didn't in recent history. That divergence from the norm is most pronounced on the Virgin River, but you can see it in other rivers to a lesser degree. The thing about all of these rivers, they're erratic in our semi-arid and arid climates. Next year could be a wet year, but you have to plan as if it won't be. In the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.